farmlands and a beautiful sunset up ahead. We have an hour and 30 minutes left. Here's to a great day of riding. It shows you, you need to be here in order to experience and feel what this really is all about, man. day out here in dirty jersey not that beautiful to be honest because it's cloudy and it's raining on and off but today is a big day we're riding out from new jersey all the way out to milwaukee wisconsin this guy's gonna be leading the pack right here he is el capitan what's going on everybody you excited i'm very excited uh my longest ride this is gonna be probably my longest ride because i've uh what we did we did more uh Laconia two years ago but this guy he goes everywhere so I don't go anywhere. <laughs> he's uh he's very in depth Daytona and up and uh through the places, Canada and everything. So my longest ride so far. Um really eager, really, really happy for this, really excited. We're gonna basically ride from New Jersey right across PA into Ohio, and then that's where we're gonna stop for the night. Yeah, probably Six, try, seven to get, hours. try to get to Cleveland because we're we we do not get our Airbnb till tomorrow anyway, so there's no point of rushing into uh Milwaukee. We don't know how the weather's going to be tomorrow either, so might yeah. as well get ahead of it. So uh, Ohio, seven-hour ride out there, and then uh, the next day we'll just finish off, which will probably be another six hours or so, right into Milwaukee. And um, yeah, thank you guys for the venture. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's show. Ooh, we got this guy. He's going to be leading. Well, you're not going to be leading. No, he's going to be. He's going to be chasing us in the I'm back. I'm playing support vehicle this time. Yeah, so he's uh, gonna be in the back with his Wrangler, and then you got the uh, rope ladder in the back, and yeah. he's coming uh, with the misses. So, anything we need is our care package. I'm here. Our, our care bear. Aww. Ooh, branded on the low rider ass. What's up, buddy? My boy right here's gonna put my fire out. Sit the gold the mall. Because he's a fireman. <laughs> and the main man himself, El Hombre de la Hora. Time to go. Mr. Goya. Pachi. <laughs> <laughs> and look who we have here. The missus. The mascot. So I always tell everybody that he's, you guys are the care package, but he's the care bear. So in case we get, you know, we pull over somewhere, he gets to take care of us. Okay. Yo, I like this poncho, man. Thank you. My boyfriend got it for me. Look at that, that's super, super clean. All right, so we just finished fueling. We're all set, just finished eating. We're here at the Wawa and we are ready for the road. I really hope that it just doesn't come down pouring. There is some rain in the forecast. We do all have rain gear, so we're ready. I just don't want to go ahead and put rain gear on and get super high and it not to rain. So at least we have it. You guys have no idea how excited I am for this trip, man. My longest trip. I mean, that's that's always super exciting, man. Also pretty cool is that we're gonna be touching five states, which is always awesome. So we got New Jersey, then we got Pennsylvania, which is gonna be the longest haul. We're gonna be going across PA, straight across. That's gonna take the longest. Um, after that, we're gonna ride into Ohio. After Ohio, we're gonna ride into Indiana. And then I believe Wisconsin is right above Indiana. Five. Correct me if I'm wrong right now. But yeah, man, super, super excited. I don't even know where we're gonna stop at this evening either. We're just gonna pull up. I mean, we're gonna try to make it to Cleveland as far as that. And then try to find a, a decent hotel around there. The not knowing factor and just getting on the road and whatever comes, comes. That's what makes it cool, man. Makes it exciting. And I hope that this long trip will be one of even many more to come. I told you guys before that we still have the Canada trip planned for later on this year as well. It's not gonna be as long as this trip, but still good miles. And um, instead of a state, we're gonna head to another country, which is awesome too. Now I know you guys are gonna be asking, how did you pack for this ride? Luckily, we have a chase car behind us, so 
I didn't really have to pack up my bags to its full capacity and I didn't really have to strap anything down. So I packed another bag and then an extra helmet for my wife because she's actually gonna be flying out for the event for the weekend. We're lucky enough that we have a chase car and we have another car coming with more bikes. They're just leaving later on today. So all of us just had to pack our bags and put it in the car, <laughs> which is a plus, man. Welcome to Pennsylvania, Savage 1681. Pennsylvania is going to be a really long haul. We're just going to be literally just riding across. So far we've been on the road for about an hour or so. Um, no rain, so that's a plus. Um, there hasn't been any traffic until right now, so thank you for traffic. And the sun is kind of creeping in here and there. Hopefully we get some uh, some sunny skies soon. But at least it's not raining, so we can't complain about that. I'm over here watching my uh, PBD podcast, Valuetainment. First gas up, 36 miles left on the tank. Ugh, where in PA are we at? Let's see. Do <laughs> yeah, we're oh okay, not bad. I thought we were like near. I didn't think we were in that deep. We're almost right in the middle of PA. Not bad. We're in Limestoneville. Near Williamsport. So if anybody's near around this area, what's up? How you doing so far? How's your back? Ass hurts. Your ass hurts? Even with your bicycle pads on your butt? Yep. This guy's wearing uh, bicycle ass pads, guys. <laughs> BBL for bikers. <laughs> hey, man. How you doing so far, bro? I don't know. I don't fuck this shit up. <laughs> it, it doesn't take pesos. No. <laughs> you good? Yeah. You good so far? Ah, good. Okay. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. 19 bucks. More expensive than Jersey. I'll tell you that. I got stopped, took a nice little break, about a 20, 30 minute break here. Got some beet jerky, something to drink. Ah, and the sun's coming out now. farmland all around where we're at right now for the next I don't know how many hundred miles but a lot of farmland out here 
A lot of greenery like this. A lot of open land. Right, guys, second fill up of the day. Where are we at right now? Uh, still in PA. No surprise. Brookville. I knew it was missing a state. Illinois. Before we go into uh, Wisconsin, Illinois, right after Indiana. I was like, wait a minute, I know there's, there's one state missing. So let's fill up, get some rest, get a bite. Hey, look who it is! Yeah, how'd you guys get in front of us? I thought you guys were behind. I thought you guys were behind. When you stopped at the first gas station, yeah. you didn't tell us. Oh, you guys kept going? Oh, because we, we thought you were uh, caught up in the traffic and uh, when we first got into PA. What the hell? All right, fourteen dollars this time. Not too bad, but I still had a little left. How's it been riding in the Jeep? Fucking sucks. Not on the bike. Don't rub it in. Hey, you got. You took a massive nap. You can always hop on one of the back of these bikes. At least get some wind therapy. Pablo said I can uh, take over his. Why don't you ride Pablo's bike and he can just sit behind you? I don't. Want to. <laughs> one hour later. Well, a little rain never hit anybody. This is like the second rain patch that we're hitting right now. At least it's not downpouring, but let's not jinx it. <laughs> it is what it is, man. It's like I always say, I never plan to go out in the rain. But if I get caught in the rain, I get caught in the rain. It is what it is. I do get to test out my new boots because they're waterproof. So that's a plus. That's the, uh, that's the light at the end of the tunnel right now. <laughs> Testing out the rain boots. Ah, the smell of wet nature. It's awesome. Oh, uh, it's really coming down now. <laughs> He's like, ah, whatever. Quick question for you guys who are watching right now. Are you guys planning any big trips later on this year? And if so, where are you going? Who are you going with? And why are you going? Why are you doing this long ride? I gotta tell you something. It's like, the more you do these trips, the more you wanna do more. And the more you wanna take longer rides. Well, downpour rains. We had to just pull over real quick. Guess we're just gonna put on the uh, rain gear on and keep going because we ain't gonna wait around here. We're still in PA, man. What the hell? It's like five hours later. We're still in the state. <sighs> rain, rain, go away. Hi. Um, south of Cleveland we are gonna be heading west and into Toledo so we have an hour and 30 minutes left it's gonna be the third gas up of the day uh, at least it stopped raining and the Sun sort of came out all right I still had few miles left in there it wasn't completely empty but soon enough it was we might have had maybe 50 miles left in the tank but at least this way we'll just fill up now and we can make it to our destination it's been a long day man well we just left that uh gas station we had a cup of coffee and just hung out for a little while then we had a gentleman pull up and he walks over to the bikes and he starts talking to us and then at the end, he goes, where are you guys from? And we're like, oh, from Jersey. He goes, oh, shoot, I'm from, I'm from South Jersey. 
I'm like, oh man, where are you headed to? He goes, I'm going to homecoming. I'm like, oh man. It's crazy, out of all places. And then out of all places, you find people from your home state. It's pretty cool. My intercom just died. My car don't intercom. I've had it uh, plugged in all day. So it lasted me eight hours. We we left like at 10, 10, 15 this morning. And it's already 7.50. So we've been out all day, and if you're asking why it's taking us so long, it's because every time we gas up, we end up hanging out for like 30 to 40 minutes. And uh, yeah, then the rain backed us up a little, but we had to pull over and put the rain suit on, and we hung out for another 40 minutes. But yeah, I've had the cardo system on all day, the back talk, and I mean, it lasted me about nine hours, which is, I mean, Pretty good to me without being charged. <clears throat> Farmlands and a beautiful sunset up ahead. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. That is a beautiful sunset. because we were trying to, you know, enjoy it. <laughs> well, finally made it. We made it! Halfway there, kind of. This is where we're staying at for tonight. Change my mind, I'm just gonna go back home. Five hours from Milwaukee. Five hours? Okay, not bad. Man, because my boy right here said this, this is the best beer he ever had in his life. So we gotta rate this. Smells like Ohio's butthole. it is good, bro. It's really good. That's really good. That was worth the trip. We can go back now. Yeah, back. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that foam on top. Buffalo Wild Wings. It is tonight. Pretty sure there's an ant in the butthole. Don't say that. What? Video. No, that's gonna no, make it. <laughs> Cheers, Pachi. Uh, peanut with your Coke. This is a frozen market. Cheers to a great day of riding and driving for you guys. Yeah. Awesome. Cheers to us. Mm. Yeah, we need to use something that has a cooking. Mmm, fuck. Oh, it's okay, let's go. It's still there. It's still there. Round two. Pretty good.
morning. We have a beautiful morning out here in Ohio today. It's beautiful. Blue skies, clear skies, no rain ahead of us today. So that's a huge plus. So today's plan is to finish crossing through Ohio into Indiana, uh, cross into Illinois, and then up to Wisconsin. We have a five hour ride ahead of us, and then we'll be in Milwaukee. Today's Thursday, so um, we're gonna kick off everything tonight at the Harley Davidson Museum for bike night. And then uh, the fun's gonna go into the weekend, baby. We have cross lines into Indiana. So Ohio is pretty nice, but hello Indiana. And once again, I forgot to get the sign on video. But we'll get the next one. Um, Illinois is gonna be the next state. We're gonna be crossing into. Um, then we're gonna ride up through Chicago. Chicago, Chi Town. Welcome to Chicago. The Chicago Skyway. Oh, I see the Sears Towers from here. It's only right that we play a little yay when we're in his hometown of Chicago. Look at this view right here, man. This is awesome. First time ever seeing the Sears Tower in person. All right. So we just pull up to uh, Chicago Harley Davidson. What, everybody is listening to Kanye? Since we're in Chi Town? You hear it? I thought you were parking back in there. Uh, the lady parked there behind me, so she wouldn't even move. So I could Try going around. There might be maybe some space. All right, so we just left the uh, Chicago Harley Davidson dealership. I got two shirts. Two white shirts at that because I have, I don't know how many Harley shirts and 95% and of them are all black. So two white ones. I wanted to get the Al Capone shirt, but it didn't have my size. So maybe next time. Yeah, we're heading up to Wisconsin right now. Boom. And we are an hour away from Milwaukee. The last stretch, baby. Chi Town has been nice. It has been real. We are about to cross state lines once again from Illinois into Wisconsin. We just actually finished filling up a few months back. I think that was the sixth fill up, fifth or sixth. Well, welcome to Wisconsin. See how far we're 35 minutes away from our destination. Welcome, Wisconsin welcomes you. There we go. Yeah, so we're 35 minutes away. Not bad. And you want to know something? Yes, I was super excited just to get to the destination, but as we kept crushing more miles and more and more miles and Every time we'll pull over and chat and this and that, it's like the more I enjoyed every little single part of the ride. Like every little single part of it just... Like if this was even further out, I would be totally cool for that, man. Ah, we made it. Ugh. All right, guys, so we are here. Well, they are here because these guys, they got an Airbnb, and I'm sitting in a hotel elsewhere. I'm like about 15 minutes away, but I got to get my bag, my other helmet, and bring it over. All right, so remember how I told you guys the bikes were filthy? Like, look look at this bike. I mean, I don't know if the camera could catch everything, but, I mean, she's filthy from that storm yesterday so i mean the team is well prepared ah! 
<laughs> That's gonna make it. That's gonna make it. Bless it up, baby. Working man, after riding for two days, you're out here watching your bike. You gotta protect your investments. All right, I need to go check into my hotel and then we'll catch up in a few. One hour later. All right, so we just got over here to the uh, Harley Davidson Museum. Today is bike night. There's a ton of bikes over here. There's a hundred bikes. There's might be a thousand bikes here already. Hundreds and hundreds. Um, so we had a park all the way in the far out parking lot. We got John from Cycle Fanatics right here. What's up guys? Holy shift. How you doing guys? So we're gonna be uh, checking bike now out. Um, the rest of that guy's gonna be coming out later because everybody decided to watch their bike super late and take naps. Um, but yeah, it should be a good night. Should be a good time. I freaking love this place. I had a ball last time I was here last year for the uh, 120th and it's just you, you need to be here in order to experience and feel what, 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 what this really is all about, man. Nothing like it. Nothing like it at all. Hey, you gotta, you gotta go to the museum, second floor. And on this side, we got the V Twin Visionary uh, show as well. This is the lobby of the um, the museum. I did a full video on it last year when I came, but we, we're probably gonna get a lot more content this time around as well, so. Tune in for that one as well. And then uh, we rolled into someone right here real quick. You guys might know her. They don't. Bye. <laughs> you get to see all of us together all tomorrow. You guys ready? All right, we gotta go. I'm gonna see y'all later. Oh, secret passage. Yes. Second, I think, I think two. All right. We're going to the vault. Yes. I wish. I wish, man. I want to live in the watch vault. Your, watch your back. I think we got to go out this yeah. way, Skyway, and meet Matt. That's where the, uh, the B Twin Visionary shows at. We're going to go down there, say what's up to, to my guy, Jeff. Oh, we say what's up to him. How you doing? Hey, everybody's here. What's up, brother? What's up, bro? How you doing? How you doing? Sandy, how are you? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> man. How's it going? All the Go cameras. On. I walked into three GoPros. There you go. <laughs> you, know, you know how it is. Look at this guy. <laughs> What's up, bro? How you doing? Good. Good. Long time no see. Yeah, I am. Glad you're here. I know, me too. Every time I see this guy on Instagram, he's either working on something cool at Harley or just winning races. He's trying to win races. <laughs> Every now and then. Every now and then. On the podium. Hello, my boy. Hey, I see you pull up on that thing. You was looking yeah, slick on that thing. Hey. Look good, man. You know what's going on? That's the vibe. Yeah, that's what's going on. How you feeling, baby? What's going on, brother? How are you? Can't complain, man. say that this is um, one of the sickest Pan Americas I've seen. Chromed out wheels. Badass. It's switched out the swing arm. The Harley Davidson bags are really, really nice. Really dope. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> This one's it for me right here. A lot of the bikes that are out in this parking lot, this one to me kind of just stands out the most, man. Sick. So that, that, that's the funny that I'm waiting for. I'm putting that in the real one, man. I think the whole thing is the car. I know I really like that Pan America, but that's T right here. 
Stay sick.